ahead, Will. All right. Um, I think you guys can go ahead on that side if you don't mind. Sure. Who has a question? Dan Wojcik. KCP, uh, congratulations. Just what does this feel like? <laughs> uh, feels amazing. But, you know, right now, words can't you know, explain it. You know, uh, the, the emotions really is, is not running yet. Uh, but I'm just, I'm enjoying my teammates right now. It's, it's, it's a great feeling to be world champs, be being called world champs. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a great feeling, amazing feeling. Jeff Silver, go ahead. Davis, you're known for your defense, and a lot of times that's where you make your bones, but you were big offensively in this series. How did that come together for you? Uh, like you said, uh, just, just proud on my defense. You know, my defense, get my offense going. I've been uh, playing that way since since college. Uh, just try to get uh, defensive stops, you know, get out in transition, uh, easy layups, either get to the free throw line or transition threes, uh, open up my game. You know, I try to start on the defensive end, get my energy going, get my teammates, you know, to either follow behind with the energy. Uh, and offense is going to come eventually. <laughs> um, you know, just being in this bubble, um, being away from your kids, um, having that isolation. I mean, like, what what do you think about when you think about the sacrifices it took to finish this season and, and close on this championship? Uh, it took a lot of sacrifice. You know, uh, the first three to the two to three months, uh, I was there without my my kids and my wife. Uh, but, you know, I have my teammates, my brothers, uh, to keep me, you know, uh, level-headed and not really uh, get into uh, get into that side. Uh, but knowing my family was at, back home supporting me, uh, and I could get them here, you know, to, to see them. But uh, was a, it was a, just sacrificing. You know, I wanted to focus, you know, uh, on this playoff series uh, and – world champs, become world champs. Uh, that was my focus. Uh, I didn't want, you know, uh, I wanted my kids here, but, you know, uh, I didn't want that distraction. You know, uh, I just wanted to be focused. Final question here, Dan Wojcik, we'll go back to you, Will. Okay, Steve, um, <clears throat> this season, uh, your relationship in LA and stuff, you know, it didn't start great this year. Um, what does it mean to you personally? How validated are you to, to be able to contribute in the finals in a big way, um, considering kind of everything that you went through on the court this season? Uh, like you said, my season didn't start how I wanted it to. You know, uh, that summer, uh, I, I put in, you know, a lot of work, you know, uh, gave it 110%, you know, to my summer workouts. Uh, and for me to start that way, uh, it kind of got me down because uh, I was expecting to be different. But uh, I just stayed with my, you know, with my, with myself, I knew, you know, what I could do. You know, I knew I could shoot the ball. I knew I could play. Uh, it was just all about just, you know, having a clear mind uh, and a clear hair space to, to go out there and play. Not worried about, you know, what everybody else is saying about me because I know my job and, and I know I, I do my job uh, very well. Uh, but I knew it was going to turn around because of the work I put in. The only thing I had to do was stay with it. Uh, my teammates was behind me 100%. Uh, and and it all turned out uh, great for me. Over to you, Will. All right, thank you. I'll take a couple of mine. Uh, Tanya, please. KCP, when, at what point did you start to really think, okay, we've done it, we've won a championship? Uh, I know we, uh, the last four minutes to go in the game, uh, we really had to buckle down. They, they was making, uh, some shots and we wasn't getting stops and we wasn't making shots. So we really had to buckle down, you know, the last four minutes of the game. Uh, and by the time they, they, Miami really started making subs before we did. Uh, that's why I kind of like realized, you know, this game is in the bag. You know, we got the dub, you know, we came out here and did exactly what we wanted to do. You know, impose our will, you know, be the aggressor uh, and, and get this win. All right, Helene. 
Hi, there was a point in the third quarter where your team was up by 30 and I saw Rajon Rondo was still like so intense and telling people where to go and what to do and where to be and all that. Did that kind of reinforce a tone for you guys and uh, as a team, just, you know, just stay at, stay with it. Don't let them back in. Uh, yes. Uh, we knew uh, Miami wasn't going to quit. Uh, we've seen it before, uh, just watching the other series. They came back from, you know, the being down 19, 20 in the fourth. Uh, we've seen it happen before. Uh, and Rondo just recognized that. Uh, and, you know, Rondo is a great, you know, coach and player on the court. You know, he get us in our spots. Like you said, you know, he made sure we in the, the, the mindset of just keep attacking. You know, let's finish this game. Don't let up. You know, uh, and he, uh, he enforced that tonight. You know, and we all just bought, bought into it and we, we got the dub. All right, I'm going to take two more on my end. Uh, Melissa? Hey, CP. Uh, Melissa Rowland here. So LeBron obviously sent a text before game four. I'm curious, were there any messages exchanged or what was said before tonight's <laughs> game? <laughs> uh, it, it was a message. Uh, must win. Must win. That's The message just said must win. You know, uh, and also I said this, this is a game seven. Game. You know, we want to treat it like it was game seven. Uh, and we wanted to come out uh, in the first quarter and, and impose our will, uh, which we wasn't doing to, uh, uh, to start the series. You know, um, but tonight we came out with, with a fire, you know, uh, that we wasn't going to win. It wasn't going to be uh, coming from behind in the first quarter, in the first half. All right, last one for you, um, David. Um, you, you guys are NBA champions now. What do you think made this group so special, especially as NBA champions? Uh, the, I, I would say the togetherness that we bring, you know, it, it's always together. You know, we do it together. We lose together. We win together. You know, everything we do is together, you know, uh, and the chemistry that we had amongst each other was, was tremendous. You know, uh, it, it was, you know, we all brothers at the end of the day, and we treated like we was, you know, blood brothers. You know, uh, everybody took criticism from each other, and we worked on it. You know, as a team, at, at together, uh, and that would make this group so, so much different from from everybody. You know, we we was together the whole year. No one was outside. You know, uh, by themselves, it, it was together. Thank you. We're good on my end. Thank you. Good here. Thank you. KCP, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.